British government, Pede Ahmed Tinibu, with his predecessor and some evil politicians in Ebiti, billions of dollars, just to arrest Namde Kano illegally back to Nigeria. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. For the quest of British government to continue to remain relevant in Nigeria, according to U.S. investigator, British government started looking for a way to bring Mazen Namde Kano to book. They find out that he is coming close to something that made Nigeria break away. For this reason, they started planning his arrest. They did everything possible to arrest him in England, but was afraid that he would be set free immediately because he did not commit any crime against them. Considering that he is a human rights activist and a freedom fighter, what they did was to collaborate with the Nigerian government of Buhari that wanted him back to Nigeria by all means. With collaboration of Bola Metinibu, a meeting was held and their plan the kidnap of Namde Kano after they were paid billions of dollars somehow he went to Kenya for a business trip and he was captured in Kenya because he was being monitored by some people and he was tortured and brought back to Nigeria illegally. This Igbo man in a BC was so happy because they want to remain relevant in their different government house. While Nande Kano was going through torture in DSS custody after he was brought back home illegally, the British government was busy sending their envoy to negotiate. But after trying their best, they fell because he was willing. He made it clear to them that he would never accept anything but Biafra restoration. So many people started going, including Igbos, even those who were part and parcel of his kidnap, sent people to visit him. But somehow, he continued to tell them that he is not really talk about it, that what he wants is Biafra. When British government got tired, they started sending their envoy with different offer, which of course he also rejected it. The man that investigated this thing explained that he was a, about to get hold of something that would have gave the beer France strong hand to leave Nigeria. 
peaceful and this was what British government saw so they we are so much in panic they decided to add the Buhari government who was asking for his repatriation for so long and Bola Metinibu was part of that meeting including some two Igbo leaders we had a plan and they executed his kidnap some people sold him some people told his whereabouts from Europe and America and all this why they have been so happy that he is suffering why they continue to enjoy themselves because they did that for money billions of dollars mapped out circulated the question is what have they benefited apart from the money nothing now they can stay alive strong brave without looking back has continued to insist that Biafra is the only ocean and why those who believe so much in him are also protesting that they stand by Namdekan why those who sold him are busy creating some useless things just to stop his release for Nigerian government and APC leaders they believe that if he's not brought back to Nigeria 2023 election will not happen and for British government they saw him getting close to something that would have make him both to be free make their friends to be free in a very simple way of a referendum without anybody being killed i have said it in this channel several times that the day he both stand together as one without backstabbing their brothers who happen to be the leader that the Igbos will be free indeed but then Igbos will continue to remain suffering we have all it takes upon that we will continue to suffer look at how our house is being bulldozed everywhere in Lagos State anyway for those who build house there for people like us who have house in African country, will you come from Lagos and put it for us? You can never succeed. Because at least in some African country, before they tamper with your heart, they will pay compensation. Every amount that is spent, they will pay you and pay you more compensation on it. If fully there is a problem that should be solved and that house will hinder that particular resolve but not what is happening to Lagos in Lagos today any criminal that comes into office and want to put to Ibo's house and Ibo's house refused to let I will back do not leave J. Biafra